and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome back to another video! Right, so, literally four hours ago, Nintendo announced there was going to be a Nintendo Direct on the 11th. And, uh, oh, is my hair a bit... Anyway, um, and uh, I thought this, this came right out of nowhere, like nobody was expecting it, at least nobody I know, I've heard of or knew was expecting it. Right, this just came out of the blue. Like I did it, I did it, uh, if you would ask me, would there be a Nintendo Direct uh, for the first half of this month? I would say, yeah, probably, but just for it to come out of the blue like this, um, yeah, it's a bit strange. But anyway, we're going to talk about, as per usual, when one of the, when a Nintendo Direct gets announced, we're going to talk about what we think will be there. So, Max, do you want to start with what you think will be there? Um... DLC Fighter 2 for Smash. Yeah, I was thinking more E3 for that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, yeah Nintendo. Uh, with Nintendo, you don't know anymore when they're going to reveal stuff. So. Yeah, but yeah, that, that is a good um, possibility. Um, now I'm thinking either Direct or E3, Metroid Prime Trilogy. I'm better now. I'm also thinking Sword and Shield news. I'm more leaning to a Pokemon Direct for that, but it's possible a Nintendo Direct. But maybe sure. King... What, what was it called? Village... Was it just called Village of Villager? That new Game Freak game they're making. That's nothing to do with Pokemon. I can't remember what it's called, but that could be there. Yeah, like, if that's there, you, that, if that's there, you owe me a cookie. Everybody watching that watches this video is me a cookie. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, what, what else? What else? Persona. Persona Five might be in the direct. Get a bit of a look in that. Um, uh, maybe Persona Five for the Switch. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Persona Five. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, the Avengers game they make. Nintendo is making. Maybe. Maybe that. Um, uh, Dragon Quest XI's release date. That would be nice. That would be nice, yes. Because that may I can go and pre-order it. Because yeah. Can't pre-order it without a release date, apparently. More information on Mario Maker 2. Yes. Wait, that, that's, got, that's going to release... Yeah, so we're probably going to get more information on, on this. Because I think it's only like a couple months away now, isn't it? It releases um, July 22nd, I think. Yeah, so it's only like one or two or months June away. June 22nd or July 22nd. Yeah, so it's only one or two months away so, from releasing. So, um, we're probably going to get more information on Mario Maker 2 either this month or well, sometime before it releases, but uh, probably this month. Um, what, what else is there that uh, might come out? Um... Uh, maybe a new Xenoblade trailer? I don't even know if a Xenoblade game is in the works, but... Eh, who uh, knows? Probably... There's probably going to be more Fire Emblem Three Houses work. Oh yeah, Fire Emblem. Um, I, I need to pick up some Fire Emblem games, like seriously. I haven't played a single one of them. Nor have I. Yeah, I main one in Smash. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you who who is from Fire Emblem, and I play Smash. Um, I can tell you who it is. It's just yeah. I don't ever play the game. One, it's yeah. it's just not my style of game. To be fair, Final Fantasy games could be announced for the Switch. Uh, all the ones that they said they were releasing for the Switch have already been released. Yeah, but they could announce more Final Fantasy games. Maybe. I mean, if they can do, if they can port them relatively easily, why not? It's basically free money. One, two, three. Four and five would be nice. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and five. Imagine it, imagine it if they randomly just decide to port the worst one. Two is the worst one, though, but it does need some kind of port for the, for the Switch. Hopefully yeah. they port the GTA version and not the original version because the original version is a glitchy piece of shit. Yeah, no, they just port the, the original version. It, original Final Fantasy 2! And then everyone's just like, 
Um, or maybe a port of the newer ones, like um, 11 and 12. 11's a MMORPG, so that won't work. Yeah. 12 is well, it could work, but you need Nintendo Online. And what about 12? 12 is a regular RPG, that wouldn't work. Yeah. 13 wouldn't work. 13 wouldn't. Yeah, it would. Oh, would it? I thought you said it wouldn't, sorry. Um, but nobody would buy 13 because everybody hates 13. Yeah, hold on, I need to check something quickly. Um, can you just speak quickly? Yeah. Yeah, okay, they can hear you. I, I was, it just occurred to me that I never checked my audio before we started recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, anyway. How many Final Fantasy games are there, anyway? Like, in the main one? Fifteen. Fifteen. Not including, not including like, sequels as yeah. specific stories. Yeah, so would fifteen be able to port, be ported to Switch? Potentially, yeah. yeah. See, mm. overall, in the main main series, there are one, two, three, four, four after years, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, ten, two, twelve. Uh, I think the second one's twelve, but I'm not sure. Uh, thirteen, thirteen, two, thirteen, three, and fifteen. So there's about oh. eighteen, nine, seventeen, eighteen games in the main series. Yeah, and there's there's probably going to be a release trailer for uh for a trailer for um that thing of the of the, legend, the 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 indie game with with Legend of Zelda. What was it called again? Oh, what, the, um, I know what you mean, I know which one you're yeah. but... Yeah, um, there's probably going to be like a trailer for that, because that's coming out soon, I know. I think it's like coming out in the next few days. When is that mm. coming out? Anyway, so that, I know that's been, that's going to come out soon. Um, there was rumours about a Star Fox racing game, which maybe that could make an appearance. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Um. And then you could also have like Captain Falcon in there as an unlockable character. Yeah, that'd be an interesting idea. Hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna predict it now, just in case this does happen. New F Zero game, or port. That would be great. That would be awesome. Like, pull the original F-Zero over, uh, or, better yet, make a new F-Zero game, and, like, tie, and then, like, um, make, make it so, like, if you buy within, like, the first month of its releasing, you get the original F-Zero game for free. That would be a good idea. Yeah. That would drive sales. Uh, get F-Zero driving! Ha <laughs> Say the fire, the uh, Star Fox Racing game comes out, mm. and they do make an F Zero. Yeah. What I think they should do is, if you have a save game for Smash on there, you get Samus in her gunship as an as an option for both of them. Or an amiibo unlockable. Or an amiibo unlockable. They need they need to do some more stuff with amiibos. If you you say this, either the Samus or the Dark Samus. Ones mm. with it, then you get them two as playable characters. Yeah. Um, oh, Animal Crossing. We we haven't got any information on the new Animal Crossing that's coming out, so that's probably going to be there. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, there's probably going to be third party games, and probably. Like reveals for new games we don't even know about yet, so they're probably going to be there, and they're very yeah. hard to predict. Um, yeah, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> choking on my own <coughs> spit. Uh, give me a minute. I'm just going to get my phone. Um, I want to check something quickly because ah. Uh. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Uh, if I go into Messenger, I think I talked to this about with you. 
Um, I'm Jack Haley, yeah. Um, yeah, Darksiders 3, what an uh, bio mutant was accidentally leased in, well, uh, leaked in Canada. And how coincidental that days after they release, we get a, a Nintendo Direct announcement. Hmm. I'm thinking they'll probably be there. Maybe, um, Devil May Cry have a trailer for that. Yeah. But if Biomutant and Darksiders... Oh, two, sorry, not three. If those two aren't there, and uh, then I'd prob I'm probably thinking that they were fake leaks, fake leaks, or, or maybe just something they were put on there just in case. But I'm willing to bet that those two will be there. Yeah, they do sound like they'll be there. Yeah, if they're real, that is. Well, yeah. Uh, but um, I can't remember who who it was but um, there, there's a specific game company they keep on porting the tunnel stuff to the Nintendo Switch I can't remember their names um, no I don't know who you mean so I don't know um, THQ Nordic THQ Nordic is just porting a bunch of stuff to them because that's, what, that's why, I, why I remember the Bio Mutant and the, the Dark Siders two um, leaks being, uh, um, you know, such a, uh, so believable because, you know, THQ Nordic loves loves to put port and uh, Nordic games. They love to port their games over to the Switch. Hmm. So keep an eye on THQ. Well, let's see what games that do THQ Nordic have that aren't on the Switch. So let me just Google this quickly. Google. Wait for Google to load. Here we go. THQ Nordic. Darksiders, Darksiders 3, Bio Mutant. Darksiders 2. Actually, I think Biomute is a PS4 exclusive, so that would be really big if that got ported over to the Switch. Elex, Red Faction, This is the Police, Wreckfest, my brain had to process that a bit, D Blob, I think they, I think they actually got ported in it, D Blob. Can't remember. Titan Quest, Battle Chasses, I can't read all of that. Red Faction, G Gorilla, We Sing, and that's not W I I, that's W E Sing. No, no, I've heard of that. Generation Zero, Sphinx and the Cursed Tomb, that's actually been ported already. The Raven, okay. Legacy of a Master Thief, Sin Mora, Sin Mora, whatever that is, MX vs ATV Supercross, very uh, blah, yes, probably not, Akina Gothic 4, so maybe the Akina series, ooh, something that was on the DS, Lock's Quest, that could get a port. Desperados Wanted Dead, something or that. Uh, Spell Force 3, The Book of Unwritten Something. The Gul Guild 3. Never heard of it, and its uh, like logo is like a real village. So I don't know what that's about. Legend of K, Monster Jansen, Alien Wake. Aquanox Deep Descent. I can't read all of that. Guys, this is just. Um, I'm just looking here. 
D Blob 2, Deadfall, Weezing Pop, Gothic, this is The Police 2. Uh, uh, yeah, so they've got a lot of games they could port to the Switch. Yeah. Um, who else might get? Who else uh, um, might bring something to the Switch? Well, we're, we're, we should actually look a lot um, towards Japanese developers a lot right now because, as I told you earlier, the Nintendo Switch has uh, sold just as many units as the PS4 has in their lifetimes. So, yeah. that means Japanese developers will uh, be scrambling to get all the games they can onto Switch. So, I would definitely look out for Japanese developers at, in this Nintendo Direct. Yeah. Alright. I, um, I can see a ton of like Jap Japanese developers supporting the Switch and allies has sold just as many as the PS4 in less than half the amount of time. I say so I looked up the PS4 was released six years ago. The Switch has only been out for about two years now, hasn't it? So that yeah. yeah, so that means the Switch has sold the same amount in less than half the time. Now ironically Nintendo just needs to beat Nintendo and outsell the Nintendo 3DS. Yep. And then what's what what sold more than the 3DS? The PlayStation 2? What sold more than the 3 There's no much that sold more than the 3DS, is there? No. Pretty much just like PlayStation 2 and I think Game Boy sold quite a bit, didn't it? The original Game Boy. Yeah, it sold quite a few million. Yeah. I don't know. What? Um, let me look this up. Uh, top 10 best selling con consoles PlayStation 2, Nintendo DS, Game Boy, Wii, PlayStation 4. So the Nintendo Switch is in between the Wii and PlayStation 4 right now. So it needs to overtake the Wii, then the Game Boy, then the DS, then the PlayStation 2. Mm. The PlayStation 2 has sold 159 million initial on its initial release date. Wow. So the Nintendo Switch is now going up. Is it then going to have to take? Wait, no. Oh, wait, it won't count the 3DS because um, it's only counting con. Well, actually, no. It's got the DS and Game Boy. So why isn't the 3DS in between the PlayStation 4 and Wii? No idea. Uh, they don't. See it. it goes so after the PlayStation 4 is PlayStation 3, then GBA, then PSP. And it's definitely sold more than the than those ones because it sold more than the PS4, just about. So it just needs to overtake the Wii, Game Boy, DS, and PlayStation 2 and 3DS. Yeah. Yeah. Now the 360 is actually eighth. Um, but I think this is a little bit out of date, so I think it would it is that it should actually be nine because again the 3DS isn't in here. My my me, mind you, they could be counting all of the DS systems, so like DS, DSi, 3DS. Huh. Also, um, Nintendo 64 is the fifth fifth most selling console. Then the Xbox One, then the SNES. Then the NES, then the Nintendo 3DS, apparently, according to this, then PSP, GBA, 360. Yeah, I think this is a bit out of date. PS3. Yeah, I thought that was just poorly one. 
Or maybe they just put a bunch of um, console names that they just knew there randomly. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. It's just about the, the sky's the limit right now with this next direct. It's like, um, they could just be like, this game's coming to the Switch, this game's coming to the Switch, this game's coming to the Switch, this game's coming to the Switch. Because they're, they're probably going to have like developers scrambling to get onto it, like I said, because it, it is selling as much as the PS4 in uh, Japan. And the only thing for it to do now is um, overtake, you know, do the same to the 3DS in Japan and uh, um, overtake the PS4 in the West. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but yeah, the Nintendo Switch, um, just wait until like a mini or cheaper version is announced and released, that'll sell a lot. And then the Pro just to supplement it, and, I'll, and yes, I'll probably buy a Pro if it does come out. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm really... yeah. Even if it is going to be a pain in the ass to get all my save data from my Nintendo Switch to the Pro. Yeah. Um. But anyway. Yeah. Yes, I'll be here. Time to we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe and uh, the ring and ding uh, that uh, notification bell, otherwise YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.